My name is Layla Barkley, and welcome back to another episode of KSSH TV. Today, we're going to start off with an interview with Mr. Tyson, the instrumental teacher, and he's going to tell us a little bit about the new performance coming up, Spooktacular, A Night to Dismember. Next, we have an interview with Morgan Jameson and Trey Gores, and they're going to tell us about the upcoming plays at Santa Sue. And finally, we have some SSHS trivia. Now let's check in with Amanda Velarde and Mr. Tyson on Spooktacular. Hi, my name is Amanda Velarde, and I'm here with... Mr. Tyson. And I'm here to interview him about the upcoming show, Spooktacular, A Night to Dismember. So, as I've heard, one of your students is doing all the arrangements for the show for the senior project. How's that coming along? Great. Julian Perez's senior project, he's arranging over 90% of the material we're playing, including a few original compositions. Well, don't we love Julian? I've also heard that Spooktacular is really a very straightforward show. How's that coming along this year? Well, it's never been a straightforward show. We've had alien abductions, voodoo, uh, turning off the lights, screaming, flashing lights in people's faces, and this year's uh, finale uh, will also have some surprises up our sleeves for you. Oh, well, I hope no one gets dismembered or anything. Lastly, I've heard that some of the songs have been derived from the popular literature, such as The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Can you speak more on that? Yes, that's right. Uh, one of our tunes is The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, based on the book. We also are playing uh, music inspired by A Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe, called Evil Eye and the Hideous Heart, along with a few other surprises for our show. Well, thank you for your time today, Mr. Tyson, and I hope to see you there, Santa Sue. Thanks, Amanda. I'm Gabby Lingrosso, and here are your SSHS updates. You have until October 21st to submit a preferred name request to the yearbook department. You can use the QR code, or you can send a request via email to staff at gmail.com. Seniors, don't forget to fill out your FAFSA forms to get yourself some money for school tuition. Now, this year's first two theater shows are right around the corner. So let's go to Addison Beavers with the student directors of play production and children's theater. Hi, I'm Addison Beavers, and today I'm here with Morgan Jameson to talk about the play production show, Puffs. So, Morgan, you are a student directing the show. What does it take to be a successful director? I think the communication skills are super important for a director to have. There's so many moving parts in Puffs that you need to be able to speak to everyone effectively. Uh, no one person would be able to do this show by themselves. I totally agree. Communication is key. Now with Puffs, it goes deep dive into the Harry Potter world. If you could be in any Harry Potter house, which one would you be in? Uh, definitely Hufflepuff. I am a Hufflepuff because uh, they're loyal and they're hardworking and I think those are great traits to have and badgers are awesome. Personally, I'm a Ravenclaw, but can you tell us the dates, times, and ticket prices for the show? Yeah, so Puffs will be on October 20th and 22nd at 7, uh, 7 o'clock and the general ticket prices will be $15 and then with ASB they will be 12 Thank you, Morgan. Now let's go talk to Trey Gores about the children's theater show Treasure Island. I'm here with Trey Gores to talk about the children's theater show Treasure Island. So Trey, you are a student directing this show. Have you had any past directing experience? No, this is the first time I'm assistant directing. Uh, I've worked with so many great directors and I've always really wanted to direct something, so Mr. C is kind of making sure I know what I'm doing. I love your confidence and dedication for the show. With Treasure Island, it's been told time and time again. What are the main themes for the show? One of the main themes of the show is companionship, but I think one of the main, like the biggest aspect of it would be this adventure that Jim goes on with all these pirates. That's a very inspiring storyline. Can you tell us the date, time, and ticket prices? Uh, the shows are going to be on October 19th and 21st at 7 p.m. $15 general, $12 ASB, so go see it. Thank you, Trey. Thank you, Addison. So, Troubadours, do you know Santa Sue with all its intricacies and details? Let's put it to the test with SSHS Trivia. Welcome to SSHS Trivia. We will be putting our fellow Troubadours to the test with these questions about Santa Susana High School. Which of the following is not one of our school's colors? A, silver, B, teal, C, black, or D, gray? Um, gray. Correct. I'm so smart, dude. Right. Dump me up. I think it's silver, right? Is it silver? No, it's gray? It's gray. Who teaches in room 407? A, Dida, B, Saucerman, C, Mortai, or D, Long? Where's 407? Um, uh, more time. Lucky. Uh, that would be Mrs. Moratine. Yes. 
what year did Santa Susana officially become a high school? A. 1996 B. 1967 C. 1988 or D. 1978 Is it A? Yes. Oh yeah. A, 1996? Yes. No way, really? That's so old! 1976. <laughs> I agree. No, I'm, I'm honest. <laughs> and that's a wrap for SSHS Trivia. Thanks for playing. I bet you knew the answer to all those questions. I definitely did. But anyway, that's all for today, Santa Sue. If you'd like more, make sure to check out our YouTube channel, where you should like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to click the bell icon so that you can be notified about upcoming videos. Also, check out our Instagram at kssh.tv, where you can find behind the scenes clips that you won't be able to find anywhere else. Also, scan the QR code, where you can post your segment ideas, and we might use it for an upcoming video. Well, that's all for today, Santa Sue, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. <laughs>